Okay. Hey guys. So you like this vibe? Love this. Just turned off the main light. Have my little candles right here. And honestly, it looks like, I don't know, like I'm at a campfire or something. It looks like I'm at a campfire. And the closer I get, ooh, that warm. So nice. So I'm committed to doing these every single day, even if I have absolutely nothing to say. Sorry. Today was fun. Today was fun. Me and Lucian and Natalie did do a little bit of backflip work. That was amazing. And front flip stuff that I was a little bit better at. And everything was going well. We were doing it a bunch of times. And then I fell on my back kind of weird in the front flip. And something popped. You know, like a loud pop right at the base of my spine. It was like, Poof. and at first it felt good. But now every time I arch my back, arch my lower spine, it feels kind of weird. So I've just been rolling it out and I'm sure it'll be fine because it's not a real injury. I just like, you know, move something around kind of weird. So I got to work it out. I'm pretty sure that today is the coldest day so far. It's been negative nine degrees all day and it's going to get cold again. Good news though. There is hot water again, hopefully. Cross your fingers. I don't know for sure. Um, but for the past four days, we have been without hot water. So very excited for the shower tonight. Um, I will update you tomorrow about that. And oh yeah, if you're wondering what the smoke is, it's the incense right here. It's nice. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I know, right? I feel like I should be telling you a ghost story. Ooh, did you don't see that one? Oh, so cool. Ooh, I wish I had a good ghost story. I do, but I, I, okay. I have some ghost stories, but I feel like they're all a little bit long. Okay, so I'll tell a ghost story. I'll tell a ghost story. Let me think. Um, <clears throat> what's a good ghost story? Okay, um, what's like a simple ghost story? Okay. Oh, I know. This one, this one. Okay. So, actually, I like this up. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, because it's like I'm at the campfire. Okay. So, me, Colleen, names are irrelevant, but they're important to me because I love these guys. So, me, Colleen, Sean, Nina, the four of us, we are at Sean's house, and his place is enormous. Lands, he has horses, just acres and acres. I don't know, his, his dad's a doctor or something. I don't know. Gorgeous place. And we're feeling it. We're feeling something. We're having a good time. We're all theater kids. So you know we're into the occult. So we go upstairs, upstairs, like the attic. And it's late at night. We did a little reading up on how to prepare a seance and stuff. I was like, it's gotta, if we're doing it, it's gotta be done right because I'm always that extra. And so we get up there, we have our little seance, we have our little, uh, our little speech prepared. We've memorized it, we all know what to say. We have a recorder and also something to offer. You're, so you're supposed to offer something to the spirits like a walnut or a pomegranate or some fruit or something, I don't know. I didn't know spirits ate until that day. And then since then I'm always just like, Read it on the internet, must be true. So we have our little nuts in the middle. We hold hands, we do the whole thing. We start the recorder and nothing, nothing happens. So we're like, okay, shake it off, shake it off. We try it again, try it again. And it, we feel something, um, cause we're talking to real people who have, who have passed that people are connecting to in the room. We feel something, but nothing specifically happens. Then, We listen to the recorder. Oh, sorry, it's creepy. We listen, we play it back, and there is nothing. Nothing. Now, I don't just mean like it's static or whatever. No, listen. We hear us do the chant, and then there is a span of 45 minutes of nothing. Of nothing. That's not how recorders work. 
you know? I mean, I don't think so, but we all came to the conclusion that that's not how recordings work because we listen to it, listen to it, listen to it, nothing. And then at the end of 45 minutes, right when we like break hands, it comes back. So you know, it was real, it was real. Ghost was there. That's honestly, that's not the scariest one I have. There was something recently with my friend Abby and that was intense. I, I love this. I think I'm going to do some more um, night videos because it's really bringing about my complexion. Guys, you want to see the scariest thing, but also the most amazing thing? I look terrifying in this, but I also freaking love it. So my friend Jeffrey painted this. Painted this. The talents. And of me. I'm going to keep it forever. I'm gonna show my kids. I'm gonna scare my kids when they wake up. I don't even think I'm gonna have kids, to be honest. But if I have kids, this is how I'm gonna wake them up. I'm gonna just put this this picture right next to their bed and <clears throat> do a little air horn or something. Wake them up, really scare the shit out of them. Oh my god! Like what? Can we talk about? Can we talk about the points right here? These little ties, these points, amazing. So real, so authentic. Want this jewelry, want that headpiece. Look at the swoop. Now I know I look very intimidating and scary and kind of like I'm dead, but that's just his interpretation of me. And I get that because sometimes I can be a real bitch. So nailed it, nailed it. Keeping it forever, gonna scare kids. I love it. I love it. I brought it with me. I have it right over here next to my truck. All right, guys. I'm going to go read a little bit more. I hope you liked this video. And if you didn't, sorry. And also, I want to say thank you to my 15 subscribers. <laughs> thank you guys so much. What? I'm famous. I'm a success. And... 15 is the most amazing number ever. So thank you guys so much for being interested and following me through this because this has really been helpful for me to get all this stuff out. feels like, you know, I have you guys here, like I'm back home. So I really, really appreciate it. It's very, very nice. Okay. Well, I'm going to extinguish the flames I'm not supposed to blow it out. I'm supposed to go. Sorry. Oh, we got one. Oh, we got two. Oh my God, we got three. Okay, there's only two more. Oh my God, the wind in my hand. You know what? I'm gonna extinguish it with this. Scene. 